going guys welcome back to the channel today i have some more house flipper for you guys so today we are going to be carrying on renovating the house if you watched the previous episode i brought a new house and we did start renovating that in the last episode however as you can see there's still a lot more work that needs to be done so we only did the bathroom in the last episode so there's still the kitchen, the living area and the bedroom that also still need renovating. This is the bathroom if you watched the previous episode. We completed this. I think this looks pretty nice. I don't think we need to do much more to the bathroom, you know. It's a functional, clean looking bathroom. So I'm going to shut the door on that. And I'm going to say let's get to work in the kitchen next. So I'm going to move this out the way. I'm not too sure what colour to paint the kitchen yet. Uh, I kept the cooker because it's in pretty decent condition. It doesn't look too bad, so I thought we'd go ahead and keep that. Uh, let's move that out the way. And then, obviously, we need to either paint the walls or we can tile them. Let's get rid of those light switches as well. I want new everything. We also went ahead and installed some new radiators in the previous episode as well. So that doesn't need to be done. But I'll say let's get to work. Let's see, we need some paint or some tiles, whatever looks nice. We also need to get a back door as well. So let's see, um, floor tiles. I'm going to want tiles in the kitchen, right? I mean, I'm not a fan of some of these tiles. So we don't have much to choose from. I don't have a colour scheme to go with either, so that kind of depends. I'm going to base it off the tiles, I think. I think that would be the easier thing to do. So like Maybe like just these plain white ones will look okay. Let's see. Um, I mean, they're not the best, but they're not the worst either. They're clean looking, that's for sure. They look, they look better than the ones that are already down on the floor. So, they're a lot cleaner, so I think we'll go ahead and use these. I don't have much options with the tiles, so I think that'll do, right? Okay, making sure I didn't cut into the bathroom there. Right, that'll do. Let's brighten the place up already. Oh, what is that on the floor? Let's go ahead and sell that. Spoon or something? There we go. $56. No, not $56, 56 cents. Okay. Uh, what do I want to paint this? I might tile the back wall and then paint the rest, maybe. That could be a look. Let's go back. Let's go to walls and let's see what wall tiles we could do. Uh, see, the tiles aren't the best in this game, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Let's go ahead, I might use the grey ones again, like the bathroom, just because they're like half decent, they're not the worst. They're not the best, but they're not the worst, you know? So I think I might use these, let's see. Anything's got to be better than what's already on the walls, right? That's that's the way you got to look at it, anything's better than the ones that are already on the walls. Let's go ahead and do this. Tiling takes its time in this game as well a lot of time to tile. Looking nice though. Oh, and we got a new skill point. Check that out in a second. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's go ahead and get, we've finished all the mountain ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and go tiler, because we haven't got to plastering yet. So this one allows us to hold up to three tiles. That is gonna be easier so you have to keep going backs and forwards normally you can only hold one tile so you go one tile place one tile then you have to go ahead and pick another one up but now we can hold three tiles it might make us move a little bit quicker there we go and last one there i think that looks all right i think that looks a lot better than before now i think i might paint the rest of the walls so let's go ahead and get the paint brush out Probably going to need some more paint as well. But uh, we can make a start. 
Let's go ahead and start painting. Look at that. Look how clean that looks now. That is so much better. Makes you realise how dirty these walls actually are. Look at that. Let's get rid of all this dirt. We don't want to see any more dirty walls. So satisfying to paint in this game. Okay, we're running low on paint. Probably gonna have to buy a new tin soon. Make sure we get all the uh around the window here. Don't wanna miss any parts. Oh, have we run out? Okay, we're gonna need to get a new paint tin. So uh, go ahead and get this. And then Oh yeah, there we go. We ran out. Okay. We need to buy some more paint. Let's dispose of this. And let's go ahead and buy a new tin. There we go, white. Let's get that. And let's get painting. Let's get back to painting. The kitchen's looking a lot better already. Just buy putting some new tiles down and painting makes a huge difference make sure I've got all those little corners yep and up here there we go let's carry on moving around here almost finished painting this now just this little section over here kitchen is looking a lot nicer a lot cleaner I should say as well I'm gonna go ahead and paint this as well. I don't like looking at the brick there. I know you're not gonna see it because of the door, but I just like to get it done. There we go, that's better. Look at that. Look how much cleaner that looks now. So fresh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move that. I'm not gonna sell it because we might need it. And let's get rid of the tiles because we're finished with those. I'm happy with the way that looks. Oh, wait, we forgot to paint that there. Let me go ahead and paint that. There we go. There. I think that's all of it. Okay, let's have a look at some kitchen things. I'm going to buy a door first. We need to get a back door. What kind of door should we get? A middle and front door. We don't need a front door for the back door. We could go with a nice glass door. This might be nice. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That doesn't look too bad, right? things up. It's better than having a internal door there. Looks a bit nicer. I like it. Breaks a bit of the white up as well with a black frame. Okay, let's go ahead and move this back in here. Probably not going to leave it there, but just so we can get a kind of an idea so we can start getting a kitchen layout. Let's go ahead and line this up as well. I want to make sure it's centered with the oven. That should be high enough, I think. Yeah? Okay, right. Let's uh, go ahead and get to the shopping. Let's see, we need to go to kitchen. Probably should get a blind, actually, for the window. <coughs> Bit of privacy in the kitchen. Let's go ahead and assemble this. There we go, nice, that looks better. We also forgot to do one in the bathroom in the last episode as well, so I'm gonna quickly do that. And then the bathroom should be completed. Can't forget the blinds, can we? Especially in the bathroom. We're gonna need a blind in the bathroom. Not people seeing us showering and stuff. Okay, let's get to work. Let's go ahead and look at some kitchen stuff. 
So we're gonna need some like cabinets. Which ones do we wanna go for? I mean the kitchen isn't that big, so we've gotta to, gotta to be smart about this. Can't go with anything crazy. We don't have enough room. Kinda of makes me excited seeing this stuff for when we get to renovate bigger houses as well. Be nice when we can get some nice fancy kitchen islands and stuff. I think we might go with something like this. I don't think it'll be too big. And um, we've got a lot of uh, customization options here as well for the colours. Okay, so what is that changing? And that's the bottom board. Let's see what options do we have. Colour to go for. Do I want to go with white? Do I want to go with grey? Hmm, let's see. There's a lot of options. You could go with the wood look, or you could just keep it glossy. I kind of like the gloss. I think I prefer the gloss, maybe. You could always get the wooden top. Let's see. We've got, oh, grey marble. Let's see that. expecting. We've got the granite. Oh, the granite looks a bit better. What else we've got? We've got the plane. Can you just go with plane? Um, we could go with plane. What's this? Metal? What's this change? Uh, the handles. I'm gonna go ahead and say the lighter ones maybe. Maybe the darker ones. Change the sink. We could go with that as well. There's so many options. I like that you can customize the um, the doors, the top, the handles, the sink. It's kind of cool how it lets you do that. Let's see what this one looks like. Break up the white a bit, but nothing too dark. Okay, so let's line this up. Don't know how I feel about that. What's this one look like? I think this one might be a nice option as well. can also change the colours on this one. I don't want to go with a dark top or... I mean, that kind of works. That looks kind of nice. I don't want to make it too dark though, that's the thing. I think if we keep the doors light and the top dark, I thought like that's probably our best choice. That's a bit smaller than the other one as well, so that'll give us a bit more room. Let's see what it looks like light. Okay, I'm just messing around here with different colours to see which looks the best. I might go with this one, I think. This one looks the best option. The darker top with the lighter doors. Where do you want to put the sink though? It kind of feels weird having the sink next to the oven. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to put the sink up here. You know, I don't think people have sinks next to the oven. So, okay, we just need a plain one now, like this one. Let's go ahead and please tell me we can fit that. I don't think that one will fit. Is there like a singular one? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Uh, you can have one with a drawer. Let's get the one with a drawer. More storage space. Because of a small kitchen, the more storage the better. Okay, let's go ahead and move this up now to this one. If I can. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and move this over so it lines back up with the oven. Oops. Make sure it's centered with the oven. There we go. I think 
that's right. Looks about right to me. Okay, uh, let's see, what else? And we're going to be able to fit that there. So we must make sure we've got enough room for a fridge as well. There we go. Okay. Now we need to buy a fridge. So where is the fridges at? Okay, nope. I think they might be under electrical. Yeah, here they are. Again, we can't get crazy with a fridge. You can't have a big fridge because it's only a small kitchen. So we've got to be wise about this one. Maybe something like one of these. Maybe this one. Let's see what colours do we have. Steel, black. Nice change in the handles. Um, Let's see what this looks like. Oh, don't think I like that. Let's see what these ones look like. Uh, dark brown. They don't have the best of colours, do they? Orange. That's not going to match our kitchen. What about this one? I think this might be our best option. Wow, that is a tall fridge. That is tall. Hmm. Okay, I think we might have to go back to this one. Just change it to black, maybe. The other one's a bit tall. Is that going to fit in here? Come on, surely. We've got enough space for that. <coughs> there we go. Okay, I think that one's going to be our best option. Again, we don't have much choice because the kitchen is quite small. But, you know, that's a good little functional kitchen. Get everything we need. The sink. We've got some workspace. We've got an oven and a fridge. I don't think I'm missing anything. Decorations. A little plant will look nice. I feel like a little plant in the kitchen is essential. Maybe pop it over here next to the fridge. <coughs> there we go. Looks nice. See, people like that. People are happy that I put a plant there. Okay, what else can we put in the kitchen? Maybe some pictures. These people like the pictures. Whenever I put a picture down, the arrows always go up. That means people like it. Nobody complains about pictures in this game. Maybe go with something like this one. Don't nothing crazy looking. See what this one looks like. Maybe here. <laughs> See, arrows going up. People like the pictures. Okay. Um, is there any others? I don't think so. Let's see. What else do we need in a kitchen? Maybe a bin. Well, like you need a bin in the kitchen, right? You gotta put somewhere. Gotta find somewhere to put that trash. Maybe, huh? Maybe over here. Where are we going to put this? I mean, do we want to put it there? Because the sink. I don't think that would be a great idea in front of the sink. Maybe over here, by the back door. I mean, there isn't really a great place for any of it. But I think that will do. Okay, what else do I need in the kitchen? This is like a sauna stuff. Okay. Don't have room for a sauna. Not in this house anyway. Maybe in one of our bigger houses later on down the line. Maybe a nice vase. No, no, that's not gonna. That's too tiny. How about this one? I mean, it kind of looks weird though, just having an empty vase. really much else is there. We could do some little shelves I guess on the wall. Bit of storage. Let's see. Where could we put them? Maybe uh we ain't really got room for shelves have we? Never mind about that idea. 
Uh, what else do I need in the kitchen? Maybe a clock, so you can tell the time. Um, put that there, perfect space for a clock. There we go. Um, maybe put this on the wall. A bit of decoration, I guess. Pop it here next to the sink for when we're washing up. what else I would need in the kitchen it's only a small kitchen so it's not like we can put anything like a table or anything in there be far too small and cluttered if I did that there's nothing like small I can put in there all this is far too big Those little shelves. Oh, what about this? This could be a nice little cubby hole for the and there's a little cabinet on the wall maybe. If it's not too oh wow wow. That is a big cabinet. That's nearly the same size as the kitchen. We don't got room for that. Why is the cabinet so big in this game? Maybe this one. I saw this one earlier. Hopefully that's not as big as the other one. Okay, that's that's more affordable for our size. We could pop one here maybe. I mean that's the only place you could really put it above the sink. We don't really have any other room to place it. Just as like a a little storage space I guess so people can put like the cups or the plates on there look people like that okay that was a good idea people are happy about that people like storage on this game as well make sure they're lined up okay that looks uh pretty straight to me um okay Anything else? Anything else for the kitchen? I mean... I don't think there is. I don't think there's anything major missing. We've got everything we need for functioning in the kitchen. this shelf for kitchen utensils do we have oh, okay that's a that's a big shelf okay that is far too big we don't really have room for that anywhere not in this kitchen knife stand those are pretty small you could pop it like up on the countertop here there we go have a nice little knife stand you could put some little candles on the windowsill that might be you know just for a bit of decoration Go ahead and see what this looks like. And then let's get a small one. Pop that there. Okay, it's nothing crazy, but just a bit of decoration, I guess. So centre these up a bit better. There we go, that'll do. That will do. Uh, what else can we use for the kitchen? 
to be honest, I don't think there's much more we can do for the kitchen. I mean, we could pop one of these in the bathroom. A soap dispenser. Will that fit in here? Come on, plenty of room there. Why wouldn't it let me put it on the side? That's annoying. Okay, so there's a soap dispenser, but nowhere to put it. What's the point in having one then? Get some mugs. Could put a few small cups on that um, shelf thing. If it lets you. Of course it doesn't. I mean, you could leave them here, I guess. It's kind of annoying how there's not much stuff you can put on the shelves in this game. Like, I would have liked to have put those up there. But it's obviously not going to let me, so... There's that idea out the window. What about plates? Can I put plates on there? Let's see. Let's see if it lets me. Nope. Nope, you can't put cups and you can't put plates. I'm not too sure what you can put up there then. Okay. You know what? I don't think there's anything else I can put in the kitchen that I haven't already. Let's go ahead and get a door to shut the kitchen off. And I think that the kitchen is pretty much done. I mean, it's nothing crazy looking. It's looking a lot fresher, a lot cleaner than before. Quite simple and basic colours. I didn't want to go with anything, you know, exotic looking. But I think we've done a pretty nice job with the kitchen. Anything's got to be an improvement from what it looked like previously. So uh, if there's anything you think I might have missed out, you can always let me know in the comments section. But I think it looks pretty decent. I think we've got everything we needed. I don't think I missed anything. So, you know, we've got a nice little plant there in the corner break things up, you've got your fridge, your sink, your cubby hole things that you can't put nothing on, and then you've got the bathroom. I think this house is starting to come along pretty nicely. Got a nice functioning clean bathroom and kitchen. I think that's a pretty good job well done. Right, now that we've got the kitchen out of the way, I think it's time to move on to the next room over here, which is going to be the living area. So I think first things first, let's go ahead and get some new floor. I always like to start with the floor and then I can base my colours around that. Okay, so I'm thinking about going with floor panel dark. Let's see what this looks like. It's not too bad. I don't mind it. What else we got? Uh, we could try the floor panel brown. See what that looks like. Make a little sample. Uh, it's not bad either. Okay. And then let's see... What's this one? Mahogany. What's this one gonna look like? Ah, so that's a bit darker than the uh, one in the middle. Okay, we've got options, I guess. Um, you know what? Oh, which one do I go with? That is the question. Let me see. Let's move this out of the way. You know what? I think we might go with that one. I mean, the carpet... You can get carpet in this game, but... They're not the best of colours. You can only go with what you see here. So I think I might just go with the uh, panel floor brown. Let's see. What would that look like in a bigger area? Yeah, I think I might just go with this one. It's clean looking. It's better than the floor that's already down. That's all dirty. So I think we'll use this one. And then obviously we won't be using blue walls either. We'll be changing the colours of the walls. A nice neutral colour, I'm thinking. Really brighten this place up. There we go. That looks a lot better. 
a lot cleaner already. Now we just need to sort these horrible walls out. Let's see, what do I want to do? Okay, let's go ahead and look at some new paint options. Let's see what we can work with. Okay, so I think I might go with this grey beige. It's a nice neutral colour and I think it'll look nice with our floor. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I don't want to use white everywhere. I mean, it's a nice clean look, but it'll be nice to break up the white. I mean, I guess it's like a, a creamy colour, you could say. Just not white. And I think that's, uh, that's kind of what I was looking for. I don't want to use white in every room. I want a nice warmer tone to it for the living area. And I think it looks nice with the floor as well. So let's go ahead and get this painted. I'll probably go ahead and skip over some of this painting as well guys. Just because, you know, you've seen me paint before and I don't want it getting too repetitive and boring. So I'll probably skip over a little bit and when we get to the finished look, you guys will see then what it's going to look like. Okay, so I am now on the last wall almost finished painting the living room now i think it's coming along very nicely it is looking a lot better than that horrible blue which is all torn up as you can still see a little bit there so i think the room's coming along much better since changing the walls and the floor and then we'll be able to start getting our furniture and decorating done I mean, we won't be able to go too crazy with the furniture just because, again, this is a pretty small house. So we're kind of limited to some of the furniture we can use, but I'll do the best I can. And we'll, we'll see what, what I can come up with. Just gotta get this little bit up here. And then I think I have painted everywhere. There we go, what a clean home. Thank you very much. See, that is looking well better. Look at that, green arrows. People are happy with that. I'm happy with that anyway. It's looking so much cleaner, so much fresh. It's kind of got a warm feel to it for a living room, which is what I wanted. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that light switch though. And can we move those hooks? I don't really want those. Yeah, let's get rid of those. I don't want them. Thank you. Okay, now let's get to the decorating part, which is gonna be fun. I think the first things the first things first, we should probably get some light in here so we can actually see. What kind of light do I wanna go for? I don't wanna go too crazy. What does this look like? Let me see. I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic, but I don't think I like that. What about this? This looks a bit crazier. Hmm, I don't think I like that. It doesn't look right. I feel like the lighting in this game are not the best options. Okay, that's just weird. Okay, um, let's see, what's this one look like? I mean, it's not bad, but it does hang... It looks like it's in the way, like, I don't know, it doesn't look right in this small area. I feel like in a more open area that one would look nicer. This one is just weird again. Um, I might just go with some... I mean, this is basic. This is just, like, a lampshade. I might just get some halogen lights. These little halogen lamps. I feel like you can't go wrong with these. They're not in the way, they give off some nice light in, so I think I'm just going to stick a few of these around. It's always hard to line these up as well. I just try my best to get them in line. It's really annoying. Okay, I don't think that's straight, but we'll rock with it. Okay, I think that should be enough. 
now let's get down to oh wait we need to get a light switch let's get one of those first and pop that on so we can actually turn the lights on that will be pretty useful right let's go ahead and turn them on there we go look at that much better already that is looking well nice it's looking like a new home almost just don't get looking in the bedroom I'm pretty happy with how this uh, place is starting to look I think it's time to start getting some furniture in here though what are we gonna do uh, curtains and blinds I mean we do need some Maybe some curtains, let's see. It'd be nice to have curtains in the living room. Mm, okay, that's gonna be a bit awkward. If you can only fit them like that. I'm not gonna be able to cover both of those windows. Um, okay, I think we might just have to get blinds because that is not gonna work, which is kind of annoying. It's not gonna let me put two curtains on these windows here so we're gonna have to just use blinds unfortunately I would have liked to use curtains it would have felt a bit more homely but I guess blinds are better than nothing right there we go I mean, it doesn't look too bad let's go ahead and put some more up assemble these real quick There we go, and one more. There's a lot of windows in this uh, room. I don't think four windows is necessary in here. It's only a small room. I think two would have been plenty. Okay, this is also a weird shape. It's like an L-shaped room. We don't have much room on the walls because of all the windows as well. Let's go ahead and get a front door do one of those that's for sure uh, let's go with the white one spin that around there we go nice new door look at that so much better do you remember when we first walked into this house guys it was a mess. It's so nice to walk into a clean looking home. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we need furniture. We're gonna need a sofa or a chair at least. I mean, I'm, I imagine there's gotta be something to fit this room. We just gotta look for it. I might get one of these shoe cabinets with tree hanger. I could go ahead and pop this by the front door. Let's see what that looks like. I think it might fit here just nicely actually, hopefully. Is it going to? Yes, just about. Yep, yeah, okay, that looks okay, right? Just somewhere for them to hang their coats and stuff. And they can put the shoes inside the cabinet if they want. I think we'll go ahead and get a little plant as well. I feel like you can't go wrong with a plant in the living room. And some nice pictures. Maybe a nice mirror in front of the, um, by the uh, shoe cabinet here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that could look nice in front of the shoe cabinet here. Sure that's lined up. I think that looks pretty nice. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, let's see, plants. Let's go ahead and get a little fern here. Pop that on top of the table if we can. Yes. There we go. I feel like that's a nice little entry to walk into, right? You know, you walk through the door and that's what you see. I think that's pretty nice. It's not a bad thing to look at. Move that out of the way. I 
I'll go ahead and pop a door on here, just so I can close the bedroom off. There we go, that's better. That looks nicer with that closed out the way, because that is the last room. The bedroom will be the last room that we have to do inside the house. But uh, at the moment, let's concentrate on the living room area. Could get another plant in the corner over here. I thought that could look pretty nice. Fits here well as well in the corner here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. They seem to like the plants, so uh, okay. One one of them liked it. One of them didn't. Okay, not bad. Furniture. Let's go ahead and look at some rugs. I feel like a nice rug may look nice if there is any nice ones, which there isn't always. I am after the welcome mat as well. I think that might be here somewhere. It's nice to have a little welcome mat by the door. Here we go. Is that the only one? believe so. Could go ahead and get these hangers. Let me see. What colour do I want? Let's go with... Maybe the white one. Let's pop these here. There we go. Some hooks I guess to hang your things on. Let's go ahead and get that welcome mat as well. Where's it gone? There it is. Oh, you can get this in different colours. Huh. Let's see, what does the... Let's have a look at the natural. I feel like the natural one looks fine. Matches the floor better. Mm, that looks alright. Nice little welcoming area there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, carry on looking for some more furniture now. Um, let's see, sofas. I have a feeling that some of these are going to be far too big for this room. Which is going to be a little bit disappointing. Might have to go ahead and get something like an armchair instead. Let me see what I can find. This one over here could work. Let me see. Could pop this one over here in the corner. Nice little armchair. Nothing crazy. I mean, I don't think we're going to fit any of the sofas in here. Just because the room is small, but it's also like a weird layout. So I don't think we're going to be able to fit a sofa. But I feel like we could work with the armchair. Get a nice little table by it. Something like this one. Something small. Nothing too crazy. Next to it over here. I mean, it's not the best, but I'm trying to make the best out of uh, what we got here. Let's go ahead and pop that down. We could also go ahead and pop like a nice little lamp or something on top of the table. So that could look nice. More like a little reading corner. Just a nice relaxing corner there. Let's see, what lamps do they have? We could go with something simple, like this one. Nothing crazy. I'm only going with the basic look here. I'm not going for anything crazy looking. Just so the place looks nice and clean and tidy. I feel like that looks nice. Nice little corner there. It's just such a weird shape. It's like there's not like much room in that area. It's like long, but it's not very wide, so it, you're really short of options of what you can have. Let's go ahead and get a TV though. I feel like a TV would be good in the living area. 
Uh, let's go ahead and pop this one down. And then we need something to place the TV on, like a cabinet or a TV stand, if there is. I feel like something like this could work. The wooden Ares cabinet. You've got some good colourway options as well. I'm going to stick with the colour theme here. Let's see. Let's place it under this window. Okay, let's go ahead and put the TV on top now. I feel like that should be a pretty good fit. Wait, why can't I put the TV on there? Oh, there we go. I was going to say then, please tell me I can do that. Make sure the TV is facing the right way as well. That would be pretty useful. Make sure it's nicely lined up. There we go. TV. Switch that on. Okay, I feel like we could do with a rug somewhere. Hopefully there's some nice rugs. I feel like between here and the to the other side where the chair is it's looking a bit bare I feel like a nice rug would make it feel a bit more I don't know homely Let's see what rugs we can get I mean the rug choices aren't the best that is for sure but I feel like we've got to find one to fit the room okay so after searching for the rugs for the past five minutes or so I think this one is probably the best option. It's not the best rug, but some of the rugs that I was looking at, they just really don't go with the room. And the colours, you can't change the colours on all of them, and some of them are like not the colours that we want for this room. So I feel like this is probably the best fit. Just trying to see if it'll look better the other way, but I think this way is our best option. It's not the best, but looks a little bit better than just the bare floor. Okay, let's see what else we can get for the living room. Okay, so we could get some of these shelves. I mean, I wanted to put some of these in the house earlier, but we had no room in the kitchen. But I think we could put them here if we put them... Maybe this way. If I do it the other way, it's pushing it for room. But I think if I get another one... Let me just see if this works. If I get another one and then place that... I'm hoping I can put them next to one another so it's like a little box but I guess that's the uh, closest you can get which is a little bit annoying oh here we go I just have to move it down a little bit that works that works right and then you could put like a little I don't know, like a little plant or something in there. That's what I was thinking. Don't have the best of colours, do they? This is why I always end up using the fern. It's just the best for the colours. And it literally fits everywhere. Okay, so I didn't like the plant in there. I'm thinking like a, a little vase. Something like this one maybe. Mm, I mean, it doesn't look bad. You know, I'm sure they'll put some flowers or something in there. Make it look a bit better. Uh, I don't know what else we could do in the living room now. I mean, we've got the TV. We've got the armchair. We've got some decor. I don't know what else we need really, let's have a little look. Okay, so I've been looking at some pictures. I'm thinking this one might look a bit nice. Just to put a little bit of colour to the room and on the walls. 
There we go, that person, two, two of those people like the uh, painting. They do enjoy the paintings. I mean, we don't have a lot of room on the walls, so we can't go too crazy with the paintings. But uh, we could get another small one, maybe. Or something... Something else. I mean, we could put some more shelves. We could do another one of those little shelf things. Uh, let's see. I mean, we could put one there. They do like the storage space as well in this game. We could also pop one over here as well. Just to give them a little bit of storage. It doesn't look too bad. Let's see. There we go. And then put another one. Over this way maybe. I kind of want it to match with the other one. There we go. Okay, um... I think this one needs to come up a little bit. Okay, then that will do. Maybe. Still feel like... You can't really tell, can you? Okay, that will do. And then, let's see what else I can find. Okay, so I'm thinking another little picture. Over here. I think that looks nice. There we go, they like that. The buyers enjoyed that picture. Okay, I think the living room is more or less done. So we walk in. This is the uh, entry. This is what we look at when we walk in. Which I think is pretty nice. We've got a little plant here. We've got some hooks and stuff. And then you've got the little tree thing. And the plant and the mirror. Oh, nice little welcome area. We've got the rug. We've got the little table with a lamp armchair and we've got some shelving some pictures and then you've got the tv and the cabinet and then you've got a little welcome mat as well shut the door and are those on yep make sure the lights are on and then the kitchen you know what? I think this house is coming together pretty nicely. I mean, if you remember when we first brought it and we walked in, it was a mess. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of the room, as I always do. I like to take a picture of my work afterwards, just so we can look back and see, like, the progress we make. So that means there's only one more room left to do now. We've done the living area. We have done the kitchen area and we've also done the bathroom area which only leaves one more which will be the bedroom next. Let's go ahead and shut those doors and yeah I think we've done a pretty nice job with the living area. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts. I mean I'm sure there's things I could have done better and but with the shape of the room it's kind of weird so I think I did the best I could, but now we've got to start in this room. I mean, coming out of there and into here, that's a big improvement, right? I mean, just look at that. So uh, yeah, I think it's time to get to work. Saying there's some dirt up here. Saying there's dirt here, I don't know where it is though. We'll have to come back, we'll come back later on and try and figure out where this dirt is because I'm not too sure it's saying it's here somewhere on the minimap but I don't see it so okay we are now back at the house wowie what has happened to the garden I don't remember the garden being this long okay um, it's a shame that we can't do anything about that though oh wait a minute why 
does this keep highlighting? Oh wait, we can pull the weeds. That's about it. We can't cut the grass, but we can pull the weeds. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay then. Let's go ahead and get rid of these real quick. I mean, we might not be able to cut the grass, but pulling the weeds out makes it a little bit tidier, I guess. For any of you wondering, um, I'm playing this on console, so the updates are a little bit longer waiting than the uh, PC ones, so for those who are playing on PC, I think they have like garden DLC and stuff. That hasn't become available yet on the uh, console, but as soon as it does, I'll be sure to uh, get the garden DLC. It'd be nice to tidy up these gardens as well, that is for sure, because this grass, it needs cutting. Okay, let's carry on picking all these up quickly. I mean, it's probably not going to make too much of a difference, but... I want to do it, if it helps. I don't know if this even helps, actually. I don't know if the buyers will be happy about me getting these weeds up. I mean, I imagine so, but, uh... Let's just do it anyway. Especially over here, where the gate is. I feel like that's going to make more of a difference. This used to never be an option before as well, so this is new. I don't recall them letting you do this before. Okay. Uh, I still haven't found that dirty spot as well on the house, which is a little bit annoying. There's just one spot of dirt somewhere around here and I still can't find it. And it's really annoying me. Okay, let's just, um, let's head inside. We've got work to do. We've got to go and uh, start in the bedroom. Okay, look at the mess in here. Wow. Right, we need to get to work. We need to shut that. Let's go ahead and get painting. I don't know if I'm going to use white all over. But uh, let's just start painting the walls and we'll see what, see what happens, I guess. Might as well use some of the white while it's here. Oh, we unlocked a new skill point. Check that out in just a second. Let me just finish this. Okay, let's see what we've got. Um, okay, so this is for painting. 20% less paint usage would be pretty useful. We do go through quite a lot of paint, so I'm gonna get that one. Be useful not to have to keep on buying new tins of paint all the time. Even though all the painting perks are quite useful anyway. But I feel like this is probably the most for saving money, I guess, and not using as much paint. You can always tell the difference when you upgrade as well. This room is looking so much nicer now. Getting rid of all this horrible green distress kind of wall. I don't even know what these people did to this house. I mean it was abandoned, but still. I don't know how the walls end up this messy. Okay, we need some more paint. Of course we do. Let's go ahead and get some more paint. Here we go, we should grab some more white. Okay, let's carry on painting. This room's not took too long to paint. I feel like we painted this room pretty quick. Still need to paint around the windows though. But I'm going to get all this done first and then we'll go back around the windows. Look at that. So much nicer. Get rid of all that horrible green. Look how fresh that looks. Get these little spots up here. And round the windows and then we are done with the painting. I also need to um, put new floor down in this room as well. These, most, these must be the most 
annoying parts of the paint around the windows. It's so irritating sometimes. This is what takes you the most time. You have to get all these little cracks here. Make sure you get all these little ones up here. And it uses a lot of paint just for these little things as well. That is for sure. See, there we go. We've got to refill. Almost done though, so. And then the whole house would have been repainted. I'm really happy with the way this house is starting to turn out though. It was such a mess when we first walked in. There was just rubbish everywhere. It was dirty. I feel like we've made it look so much better. I mean, it's quite a, quite basic um, looking, but you know, I didn't want to go with anything too crazy. We can always switch things up on our future houses. Go for a bit more colour, I guess. There we go. I believe I have painted everywhere in this room now. So we can go ahead and sell that. And then I think we need to change the floors next before we start putting furniture down. So let's go ahead and look at some flooring. I mean, it would be nice to have some carpet in the bedroom. But like I said earlier on, the colours for the carpet isn't the best. So we'll have a look. Oh, we've had some new flooring. I didn't have this before. What was that? Black panel. That could be nice. Got some new carpet. Okay. It appears that we have some new items in the store. That's exciting. Looks like we have a lot more carpet options now as well. We could go with the carpet or we could go with some nice new floor. Let's go ahead and put some samples down of the carpet. Let's see if I like any of them. Let's do a few samples and then I think that's the best way to decide on which I think looks best. So we've got that one. Uh, which else do I like? Maybe this one. Nice to have a bit of a darker carpet or floor as we've got light walls, a bit of contrast. I don't know how I feel about the carpet. Let's uh, go ahead and do a bit more. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's not the worst, but I'm not. It doesn't scream wow either, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know what I feel. I might just go with um, some flooring maybe. Let me see. What was that new floor actually? I believe there was some, here we go, black panels. Let's see what these look like. Let's go ahead and see. I mean those are kind of nice. Let me see what they look like a bit more. Yeah, I don't hate them. Those are pretty nice the black panels so they give a bit of contrast from the walls which is what I wanted I think I like them I think I'm a fan let me see let's see what it looks like if I do it all in these black panels you know what I don't hate it it's not the best floor I've seen but it doesn't look bad either so I think I might go with this one I think it looks nice having the darker floors with the lighter walls I like that I'm a fan of that now we just need to get some uh, furniture in here now need a nice bed to match with the floor okay looking at the beds I'm just trying to find one that would look nice in this room that isn't too big because it's not a huge room but I think I want a double bed I don't want a single one I don't think I want a single one. I think a double one would be nice for this room, just not too big. I don't think I like the colour swatches on that bed. Uh, what's this one? Double bed Hermes. Hermes. I don't know how you say that. Hermes? Hermes. I think it's Hermes. This one's pretty nice. I like the colour swatches. I like it. I like that we can change the uh, duvet as well if we want to change the bedding pattern the bedding pattern can't seem to get my words right today let's go ahead and 
go with the dark one maybe the dark would look nice with the dark floors I don't want to have everything light and then the lighter bedspread ties in with the walls I guess let's go ahead and place this under the window okay everyone like that wow that that person just moved up as well on the buyers list I'm guessing they like the bed okay that's a that's a good purchase they all seem to have enjoyed that okay I mean it doesn't give a lot of room on the other side but I kind of want it centered with the window uh, we could do some little side tables now next to the bed I feel like that would be nice a nice little night table let's see which one would look nice with the bed I think maybe something like this one let's see what colors we can get I mean the gray kind of looks nice can change the legs let's see what this one's like I like the darker legs because of the floor let's see does this look nice it doesn't look bad let's go ahead and get another one for the opposite side place one over here there we go looking nice looking better than before anything's an improvement from previously let's go ahead and move that over a touch I want to make sure these are lined up as best as possible it's more centered over to the left just because of the window the window isn't centered so and I would like it to be lined up with the window I feel like it looked weird otherwise let's go ahead and get some little night lamps this one's kind of cool but I don't think we have like the retro vibe going so I think I'm gonna go with something like this one maybe let's see what colors we can get first I mean that could work let's see it does work nothing too crazy just a bit simple let's go ahead and pop one on the opposite side make sure they're centered there we go that's looking nice let's go ahead and turn those on nice little night lamps on the uh, bedside nothing too crazy I like it I think it's looking very clean looking simple but clean that is what we're going for okay what else can we get we need to get a um, ceiling light as well I need to remember that uh, let's go ahead and look at some more furniture we do also need to get some blinds or curtains for the windows as well I feel like privacy is definitely important in your bedroom so let's see we could go with curtains or blinds I did want curtains in the living room but the way the windows were it wasn't going to work so hopefully we can get curtains in the bedroom that would be nice if we could because you don't have the only thing with this game you don't have um like options with the windows like they have to stay where they've been placed you can't move windows or get rid of windows which is kind of annoying because sometimes they're in awkward places i'm gonna go ahead and install this curtain let's just see if this works pop those up on there because the curtains do look so much better in the bedroom I mean some people have blinds and curtains which can also look nice as well but the only issue is I don't know if it'll let me use the uh, wider one on these two nope oh you gotta be kidding see why does it not let me that is very annoying why does it not let me put it on both of those windows you see oh that's annoying I really wanted curtains I guess we're gonna have to just get blinds on those windows because I don't think the curtains is gonna fit because if I place a curtain here it's not gonna let me put one over this side because it's gonna be in the way of the other curtain let me just see let me just uh, see if it lets me see I don't think it's gonna let me no see interfering with the other one that's annoying that is really annoying okay so we can't have curtains 
unfortunately. We're gonna have to go with some blinds on the um on the other one I think because it's just not gonna let me it's not gonna let me place curtains is it there okay we're gonna have to sell that one um we could keep the curtain there I don't know if that would be weird though let's go ahead and look at these blinds I don't believe these are new let's see I think this one might be nice let's go ahead and install those we didn't have these blinds before okay I like it simple let's go ahead and get one for this window let's go ahead and assemble that if I can I can't seem to get round that side of the bed there we go there we go assemble those I mean it doesn't look too bad I don't know if having the one curtain looks weird though I don't know I mean We'll see. I might, I might leave it, I might change it. Let's just uh, carry on decorating the room. Okay, let's look at some nice decorations now. I feel like a nice mirror always looks nice in a bedroom and some plants and that kind of stuff. Just a little bit of decor. I think we'll have a look at some mirrors. Ooh, we've got some new mirrors. I like this one, the standing one. This could look nice in here. Let me see. Yeah, not too big. I feel like that might look nice in the corner over here. On like a little angle. Yeah, I like that. That works. Okay, let's carry on. We could do some paintings or something on the walls just to break up the whiteness as well. Brings a little bit of colour to the walls, you know. Let's see if there's any nice pictures for the room. I feel like this one looks nice and it's a pretty big picture actually kind of fills up that space on the wall let's see if the small one I think the small one might be better medium's a little bit big there we go they enjoyed the picture okay we could do something over this side now this side's looking very plain I think I might get some drawers or something like a little cabinet or some drawers in this corner if there's some that will fit here we kind of have some too big to the door so if there's a nice set of drawers that will fit in this corner oh we got some new uh, furniture as well okay let's have a little look see if there's anything that looks nice for the room I mean these drawers here look nice oh and we can change the colors and get gray to match the bedside tables and then can we change the outside to like white maybe yeah there we go I feel like those look nice I kind of prefer the white one let's see I mean the fit here the fit there okay it doesn't interfere with the door I mean they're gonna have somewhere some kind of storage for the bedroom right doesn't look too bad I think this bedroom's coming along pretty nicely. Could do with some decor on top of the drawers though. We need some more decoration going on in this corner. It's looking a bit plain at the moment. I wonder if they've got some nice little plants or something. Oh yes we do. We've got some new plants actually. That is nice to see. Let me see. Oh wow. Oh that is a big plant. Okay maybe not that big. Is the one a bit smaller than that maybe? That would be uh, useful. Let's go over to plants. Let's see. Oh yeah, they've got some new plants. That's exciting. I do like using these plants. Oh wow, why are they so big though? That is even bigger than the last one. Why have they made the plants so big? Do they have like some little ones? Here we go. These these look smaller. And change the uh, colour of the leaves as well. Let's go with just go with normal that's it that's what I'm talking about some small those are way too big to put on a dresser okay one of them liked it one of them didn't that's no problem let's go ahead and get some more these little cactus here could look nice oh look how small these are 
These are kind of cute. Go ahead and see what else you can get. We got the uh, this one. Let's go ahead and pop that on the opposite side. There we go. It looks nice. Just a few little plants there. Brings a little bit of colour over to that side. Nothing crazy. Um, I feel like we could do with something else though. Let me see. Let's have a little browse and see what I can find. Let's have a look at the furniture. Maybe some, um, there was some nice little cupboard things here which could do with some storage. This, this kind of matches our drawers as well. I feel like that could be nice. Go ahead and get the. Uh, let's see what this one looks like, maybe. Oh, that fits up there kind of nice. I think the painting might be in the way, though, which is a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and get these, though. Let's go ahead and place these. Um, we might need to move the painting. Okay, yeah, they enjoyed the uh, bookshelf thing. He's moaning, saying not all of his documents will fit in there, but. At least you got some storage, sir. Okay, I think moving the picture over there looks nice. And then if we can move this up a little bit. There we go. I thought that looks kind of nice over here in the corner. Doesn't take up too much space. They're really big on having storage for their documents in this game. I don't know how much documents these people carry in the home, but that is all they complain about. Oh, we could put some of these little plants on here as well. Finally, we have some plants that actually fit on a shelf. Let's go ahead and get a few of these. There we go. Let's get some of these little plants. I feel like these look nice on the uh, shelf thing. Go ahead and pop that one over the other side. There we go. That looks nice. So grab a few more. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and placed a few more little plants and some books and stuff on the uh, little shelf thing. I feel like the room's almost there now. Just a few little finishing touches. Um, I feel like maybe we could do with... I don't know, maybe in like a nice little rug or something on the floor. I feel like a nice rug may look nice. Okay, I think I like this rug, the wide agrodo rug. I don't know how you say that word. This one's not too bad. Oh, could go with the uh, grey one maybe. Let's see what that looks like. Um. Okay, I don't think I like the pattern. It doesn't really go with the room. Okay, uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. Some of these you can change the uh, colours on. Uh, I mean, we could go with this plain grey one, I guess, under the bed. We do have grey in the room. Okay, that's not straight. Let me uh, sort that out. Maybe bring it down a little bit more as well. Oh, don't know what happened there, the uh, table has just jumped. Okay, doesn't look bad. Looks a little bit better, I guess. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we need in the bedroom. I mean, I think the bedrooms come along pretty nicely, if I do say so. I think I'll keep the rug there, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we've got the little shelf, we've got some little decor, we've got the nice mirror here, I like the mirror in the corner. Then we've got some drawers with some little plants and a nice picture. Uh, we've got the rug, we've got the bed, we've got some blinds. I mean, I think it's looking pretty nice. Let's go ahead and... Wait a minute, I forgot to do the light, didn't I? Almost forgot to put a light in here. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly look at the ceiling lights. Uh, where are those? Ceiling lamps. Okay, let me see. Let's go with something, maybe like this one. Just something basic. Okay, 
Okay, let's try this one. Kind of matches our bedside ones as well. I like it. Let's get it centered if we can. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, switch that. Light switch out with the uh, new ones. I've changed the light switch. I've changed the light switches all through the house, so it'd be weird if I didn't change the bedroom one as well. So let's go ahead and get a new one. Gotta have matching throughout the house, haven't we? Let's go with the uh, modern light switch here. Pop that there. There we go. Turn that on. Very nice. Nice and light in here. Okay. Let's uh. Go ahead and shut that door. Okay, right. Let's have a little run through the house now. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now remember guys what this house looked like before we renovated it. When we first bought the house, what a mess it was. I mean, the outside, I haven't really changed much on the outside. Um, the grass, I can't do nothing about the grass. That would be better if it was cut. But uh, it doesn't look too bad on the outside. Let's go ahead and look on the inside though, which has been a huge improvement, if I do say so. I mean, it was a right mess before. There was cockroaches everywhere. It was dirty. The walls were a mess, the floors. So let's just have a little look and see what we have done with this house. This is the kitchen. Then we've got the bathroom through here, which is a nice little bathroom. Kind of small, but uh, it looks nice for the space we had. And as well as the kitchen, the kitchen is nice as well. And then we've got the living area, which is also nice. A weird shape but nice and then coming through to the bedroom over here I think we did a nice job with the bedroom as well a bit simple looking but I think it's looking very clean and fresh throughout the house I am super happy with the way this house has turned out hopefully you guys think I've done a good job as well let me know down below in the comments on your thoughts of the before and after process I think it is looking so much nicer but yeah this is my first house renovation and I think I've done a pretty good job with this first house. It wasn't very big so we had to be limited to some of the furniture and stuff we had. And there isn't a lot of options with some of the stuff. I mean it's not sort of the stuff that I'd go for normally. But I think we've done the best I can with what we have. That little bit of dirt I still haven't found. I don't know if it's under the uh, door actually. Let me go ahead and see if it's here. I still can't find this little speck of dirt here and it's gonna be so annoying because the rest of the house is clean. And this little bit of dirt, I don't know if that's gonna affect my profit on selling the house. It'd be kind of annoying if it does, but I can't see the dirt anywhere. So it's a little bit frustrating. Okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and get the uh, door back now. It wasn't there, so uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, same door quickly. And then I think it's time guys to finally go ahead and see how much money I can make off this first house renovation. Hopefully we gain a nice little profit. I've spent quite a few hours on this house, you know. I'm hoping to get a decent amount of money back from it. We've spent a few few bit of dollars as well renovating it up on the furniture and stuff as well so yeah let's go ahead and see what we can get okay so we have we bought the house for thirty seven thousand six hundred and ninety two dollars um we also have four rooms in the house we currently have just a little bit over thirteen thousand dollars i've spent two and a half hours working on this house that is a lot of time working on a house this small so you know just appreciate the hard work and the hours gone into this little house and hopefully the buyers do as well so let's go ahead it's so hard to sell your first house but we need to go ahead and put it on auction here we go okay i think this is the buyers okay it's still going up so there's always the good things and the bad things that they're gonna say right okay so our top buyer is dolan trusk we could make a profit of twelve thousand eight hundred and eighty three dollars that is a pretty nice profit so we could sell this house for fifty five thousand and one hundred and seven dollars that is not bad so he says exactly just one bedroom perfect I need a separate office. Look pal, the house isn't that big to have an office. 
if it was a bigger house I would happily have done you an office but there is no room for an office in that house okay so I did the best I could pal but uh, I think that is not too bad of a profit um I mean we can I think we can refuse and negotiate the offer but uh, I don't think we need to do that I think I'm happy enough with that kind of profit we can also see what the other buyers said as well so not just the uh, top buyer and I think for our next purchase we'll be able to keep those um, that information on the other buyers as well so that will be useful for our next purchase but I think I've gone ahead and sold our first house Buyers, what's your impression after the first auction? If you would like to check some buyers' details before the next one, I saved your notes about them on the tablet. Okay, so that is just what I mentioned. So now we'll have information. So when we go ahead and buy new houses, we'll be able to check um, what the buyers are looking for and what the buyers aren't looking for. So that'd be pretty useful. Here we go. Let's see. So the buyers are here. So we should be able to see what they are interested in. See this guy, he has likes and dislikes. So we should be able to use this now to add advantage when we buy our next property. So that will be useful. Got all the buyers here. Some of them don't have anything. I think those are new buyers though that we haven't worked with before. Now look at this. Coming back to our office here. Kind of puts things to shame, doesn't it? after we just renovate that nice house and then coming back to my lovely wonderful office if you can call it an office look at the mess in here okay I think our next project should actually be doing up my office so instead of buying a new house I think next we will go ahead and do a office renovation so let me know if you guys would like to see that but yeah guys I'm going to end this part here as always i'd appreciate if you enjoyed this video if you could hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are new around here but yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching guys goodbye